Hi, Nico. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Gilbert. Thank you for having me. Good to see you. Good to see you since PDAC. So we talked last time, and this is sort of like a follow-up. You talk about having some gold results, exploration work, uh, um, update. So can you tell us a bit more? Because I saw in recent news, you have the resource estimate for PowerBack. So tell us more about that uh, uh, resource update. For sure. And thank you. I left, I, I told you viewers during PDAC that the resource update was ongoing. So since PDAC, we've finished the resource update and announced it. Um, we're talking about Parbeck, our gold deposit on the Cadillac break beside Canadian Malartic. Yes. Oh, now you can see my screen, it says. <clears throat> we're talking about Parbeck, our gold deposit on the Cadillac break beside the Canadian Malartic mine. And we put out a new resource. So this resource is a 29% increase to our last resource. Um, but the interesting part is all of this measured and indicated, we've got measured ounces for the first time and then indicated and all of these ounces, which represent 73% of the new resource are within an open pit. And then we have <clears throat> additional ounces in the open pit that are inferred and under the open pit that are inferred. More work would, again, upgrade these ounces and or bring them into the open pit in a different category. So every resource comes with some disclaimers. The most interesting one here right now is this was calculated with a price of US $2,100 per ounce for gold. Um, so... This resource represents growth. There's the open pit. There's the mineralized domains below the open pit. The open pit's in gray here. It represents growth, and here are some more statistics, but it also represents a significant amount of tonnage because we modeled this to bring as many tons as we could into the deposit because, as I showed you earlier, we are sitting next door to Canadian Malartic, and they've moved to filling the mill. They've shut down their open pit. They've moved underground, and they need tonnage. So are we a target? Are we an acquisition takeover target like 03, the most recent one by Agnico? Um, no, we're, we don't want to be a target with the current share price. As you alluded to, we're going to raise a little bit of money, um, and we announced today um, some work we're going to do. And in order to show you that, I have to stop sharing this, and I'm going to share an image with you. For Parbeck, we have begun the process. We need to monetize this asset. So we want to monetize the asset, and we're going to pursue it a couple of ways. One, one outcome is we could sell the asset, possibly to a neighbor or to another operator, because we're in a very established gold camp. We could option the asset. We are going to evaluate the asset for surgical mining. It's a it's a it's a brand name. It's a technology, but we're proceeding with the hard way, which is we are applying the strip in this yellow area. We know you can see the red under the yellow. That's the that's the that's the resource. We know there's surface and near surface gold in this area. We're going to strip which would then be followed by mapping sampling leading up to blasting in order to take a bulk sample, process it for recovery. There are toll milling options in the neighborhood. We are going to investigate the process of dewatering our underground decline. So a decline is a ramp, goes underground, stops at about 100 meters depth. Um, that's going to be a bigger process because there are, of course, site security concerns and water discharge concerns that go with that. But we'll start looking into it. Meantime, today's news, dewatering a parbeck. There was some other news that's not part of this follow-up that we put out today. I encourage you to go to our website, but we have a gold property in Ontario we're going to start doing some work on. But really, I just I appreciate the opportunity, Gilbert, to tell your viewers that we've increased this gold deposit by 29%. We've got room on strike. It's going on to our neighbor, Agnico Eagles Ground, here. And it continues on our neighbor, Agnico Eagles Ground, over here. We pro we've proven the gold's coming into the sediment. We've significantly increased the potential on the property because this is dipping to the south, meaning the mineralization is going to stay on the property at depth. And it's also bending as it comes up here. So it's going to run on the property a little longer in this direction as well. So Parbeck's fantastic. Parbeck's got 
lots of gold and more work to do. And hopefully we come up with a way to monetize Parbeck as well. Great. So uh, that's it, so, Gilbert. Thank you. Yeah. So before we go, so you mentioned about the finance. So how much uh, uh, dollars are you are you raising? And this shortly. We're here? only looking. We're only looking to raise two hundred two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. The use of proceeds of that money, Gilbert. Well, we've talked about one thing. It's permitting at um, Parbeck. The other big thing that that money would actually be used for is you recall our Victoria Critical Minerals asset where we have a significant amount of nickel zinc. We know we can create a maiden resource for that. And my target is to do that this year. So the fundraising would in part go to doing that. In the field, what you can expect to see from us in the field, partially funded by any money we raise, is the stripping proceeding at Parbeck. I have no doubt we'll get the permits, but permitting is approximately, it requires two permits, um, a, a local permit with all the populations, as well as a forestry permit for the chipping. So that permitting process, the forestry process is about a month and the local one, a month to two months. So the permitting is going to take a little bit of time. Um, and during that time, we're going to go in field in Ontario. We'll create some news. Nixon Bartleman's a very ex interesting property. We've we last worked in 2014. So that's the use of proceeds permitting at Parbeck, the beginning of the stripping, because we'll have to chip, then we strip, then we map, then we sample. That'll keep us busy this summer and working like creating a maiden resource at Victoria. So 200,000, if we could raise 200,000 here, that would be fantastic. I'm not sure how far we'll get, but we'll find out. And uh, it's a one and a half cent unit. It's a share and I don't know how to stop that. Just a minute. It's a share and a uh, warrant. Warrant's good at five cents for either 18 or 24 months, depending on whether the unit is a flow through unit or a hard cash unit. If you have any questions, Nicole at remforthresources.com or talk to my friend Gilbert. He can tell you more and uh, he knows how to get a hold of me. Great. Uh, thank you for your time here for the update. I look forward to uh, speaking with you again soon. Thank you very much, everyone. And thank you, Gilbert. Good to see you. Good to see you.